30 years ago, a young woman was walking down the street in Redford when she suddenly vanished. After 10 days of agony, hope turned to despair for her family when Christina Castiglione was found murdered in a remote part of Livingston County. Well, tonight, 7 Action News investigator Heather Catalo shows you how a cold case squad is trying to solve the crime and that Christina may not have been the killer's first victim. There isn't a day that goes by they don't think about her. Anna Castiglione's world fell apart on March 19th, 1983. That's the day her only sister vanished. It just happened one night. They, the police came to the door and I just knew it wasn't good news. Christina Castiglione had just left a friend's house near Lola Drive and Five Mile Road in Redford Township. Her boyfriend, who had been on his way to pick her up, saw her walking westbound on Five Mile. But by the time he caught up with her, the 19-year-old was gone. Christina's body was found 10 days later, more than 45 miles away on state land in Livingston County. This is all hunting property. Livingston County Sheriff's Deputy Ed Moore was one of the first to be called to the homicide scene back in 1983. Now Deputy Moore is taking a fresh look at Christina's murder as part of the sheriff's cold case unit. The person that we were originally looking at, which was the person that found her, um, stopped where cooperating after a short period of time and there was not enough physical evidence to show whether he did or did not do it. While detectives won't say publicly how Christina was killed, the seven investigators have learned there could be a big twist with this cold case. They're looking into the possibility that Christina's death is connected to the murder of another teenager, a 16-year-old from South Lyon. Exactly one year before Christina vanished, Kimberly Lewisell disappeared after leaving her boyfriend's home in Redford Township as well. They looked similar. Kimberly was 5'7", 127. They had similar hair, you know, just below the shoulders. Kimberly's body was discovered 30 miles away, also on state land, also in Livingston County. Even though Kimberly's case has gone cold, Michigan State Police Detective Sergeant Angela Hunt is still hoping someone saw the teenager that day back in 1982 and can now provide some clues. It's very important that we still follow through. We'll keep this open for as, as long as till it's solved. It's important uh, to bring justice to the suspect and also closure to the family. We're looking for anybody that may have seen something or if they've heard anything since that time. Even if they think that it might be rumors, um, we would like to know any of that information. Christina's murder tore the Castiglione family apart. And despite the decades that have passed, Anna still wants answers. Probably a few days before my mom passed away, one of the things she said was is the only thing she wished she knew who had done it and why. It's just horrible to think that there is somebody out there that had did this. Many of the original suspects in both cases have now been ruled out, and the boyfriends of both girls were not suspected. If you know anything about either of these cases, detectives really want to hear from you. Please call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.